Grace and peace, St. Luke's. This past Sunday, I preached a sermon centered on these beautiful and inviting words of Jesus. Come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And in the sermon, I talked about the spiritual rest that we receive when we see our sanctuary our church. And um, I talked about people who will come and visit after years away and want to come in and see the church, see the beautiful sanctuary. And I talked about what it meant to us after a long time of COVID lockdown to be able to be together and worship in our beautiful sanctuary. Well, from time to time, I want, I'd like to lift up books that are in our library and books uh, that have meant a lot to me. And um, so I'm going to do a reading from a book by Marilyn Robinson called Gilead, which is in our library. And it's an epistolatory novel. In other words, it's a novel of uh, letters and journals written by John Ames, uh, an aging and dying congregational pastor that he wants to give to his seven-year-old son and uh, so that he'll know him. And in one of his reflections, John Ames, the pastor, talks about what it means for Jesus to give him rest by being in the sanctuary. And so I read this. From Gilead. It's a plain old church and it could use a coat of paint. But in the dark times I used to walk over before sunrise just to sit there and watch the light come into the room. I don't know how beautiful it might seem to anyone else. I felt much at peace those mornings, praying over very dreadful things sometimes, the depression, the wars. There's a lot of misery for people around here. Decades of it. The prayer brings, brings peace as I trust you know. In those days, as I have said, I might spend most of a night reading. Then if I woke up still in my armchair and if the clock said four or five, I'd think how pleasant it was to walk through the streets in the dark and let myself into the church and watch dawn come into the sanctuary. I love the sound of the latch lifting. The building has settled into itself so that you can walk down the aisle and you can hear it, yielding to the burden of your weight. It's a pleasanter sound than an echo would be, an obliging, accommodating sound. You have to be there alone to hear it. Maybe you can't feel the weight of a child, but if it is still standing when you read this and if you are not half a world away, sometimes you might go there alone just to see what I mean. After a while, I begin to wonder if I like the church better with no people, with no people in it. In the old days, I could walk down every single street past every house in about an hour. I try to remember the people who lived in each one and whatever I knew about them, which was often quite a lot. And I'd pray for them. And I'd imagine peace they didn't expect and couldn't account for, descending on their illnesses or their quarreling or their dreams. Then I'd go into the church and pray some more and wait for daylight. I've often been sorry to see a night end, even while I have loved seeing the dawn come. Trees sound different at night, and they smell different too. Gilead by Marilyn Robinson. Come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy laden.